Welcome to Beat Diabetes. So often, doctors try to convert patients to start thinking the way they think, which is to eat healthy and live healthy. And sometimes they have a struggle with that. But in this case, uh, we're going to look today at a patient who converted his doctor. Okay, let's get on to the individual who converted his doctor. He says, Dennis, after discovering your channel seven months ago and seriously applying the core plan of action to my daily life, I've reduced my A1C from, and I, I never get tired of these numbers, from what? 11.3, which is terrible, to 5.7, which is really, really good. Could be, per it's not maybe perfect. Uh, you're you're kind of at the boundary line of prediabetes, but, but 5.7 from 11.3. How can you complain about that? That's fantastic. He says, I dropped my weight from 202 to 165, almost certainly without even trying, which is just the normal way this works with the uh, the low-carb diet and inter intermittent fasting. fasting. He says, my once high blood pressure is indeed back to normal. Once high, now it's normal. Blood sugar was high. Now it's getting real close to normal. He says, as are my once insanely high triglycerides. So insanely high, doesn't say what they were, but really, really high. Now they're normal triglycerides. Cholesterol even is down. He says, I'm fiddle physically and mentally feeling like a million bucks. Love that. <laughs> Good for you, my friend. Closing in on 60 years of age, so late 50s. It's like I've been given a new lease on life. Intermittent fasting is key, goes hand in hand with a low-carb diet. And uh, he says, I have indeed used Mike the Meter three or four or five times a day to reveal what works for me and what doesn't. Wow, he's got it. Uh, sir, uh, you get it. I'm using Mike the Meter to figure out what works for me and what doesn't. That is so much better than me preaching at y'all. And I, yeah, I admit I do preach sometimes because I'm a preacher. So sometimes I will kind of preach at you about, you know, cut down the carbs and all that. But that's not nearly as powerful just to hear me say it as to for you to discover it on your glucose meter. And that's why we affectionately call him Mike. Yeah, I realize he's not really a living person. I'm not quite that crazy. But uh, I want you to feel fond about your glucose meter. I want you to have good, warm feelings about Mike the meter. So he's saying, I'm checking it all the time to see what works, what doesn't. Now, here's the, here's the fun part. My doctor is blown away. He told me that for the first time in his 30-plus year career, because of my case study, he's now recommending a low-carb intermittent fasting lifestyle to many of his other patients. Thank you so much for all you've done. So the doctor is not some novice. He's not just been out of medical school for a year or two. He's been doctoring for 30-plus years and he's finally getting it that a low-carb diet with some intermittent fasting can absolutely devastate your diabetes, can wipe it out, can reverse it, say it however you want, can put it into remission if that's how you like to say it. Basically, it will get you to the point where your numbers are no longer diabetic. Uh, diabetic. Your A1C, not diabetic. Your fasting glucose, not diabetic. You feel better. The uh, complications are receding. Wow, wow, wow. So I replied to this man and said, wow, that's a fantastic testimony. Here's how he answered my reply. He said, I owe it all to you, Dennis. You turned me on to the benefits of a low-carb diet and intermittent fasting. Also on to Dr. Fung and all your own inspirational figures. So several of the ones of the people that have really been a blessing to me. He says, my life has changed forever. My doctor gave me no helpful guidance whatsoever when I was first diagnosed with diabetes 11 years ago. I was told to go home, take my insulin, and expect my life and my health would simply get worse and worse and worse as I got older. How sad. How sad. You know what that does? It takes away all hope. Diabetes is progressive. It's going to get worse. The older you get, the worse it'll get. But uh, you can take your medicines and we can kind of slow down the deterioration a bit. But don't expect too much because, after all, diabetes is too tough for you, my friend. You don't have what it takes to beat it. And I'm here to tell you, you do have what it takes. By the grace of God, you can make the necessary changes. This guy went from, he, he was 11 years and was just spinning his wheels, nothing working, getting worse, nothing working, nothing working. Suddenly he starts watching little old preacher Dennis 
and gets turned on to a few other uh, doctors. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but gets uh, turned on to a few doctors as well, low-carb doctors, starts applying it, and bam, within a very short time, he's gone from 11.3 to 5.7. He's lost something like 40 pounds, and he's feeling better than he ever has in years and years and years. And the doctor's even getting excited. He says, that's how it played out for years. My numbers got worse and worse as the years passed. But after seeing the radical radical results of my latest efforts based on your guidance, my doctor has himself been enlightened. He recently told me, told me that based on my case study, he is now seriously researching low-carb dieting and intermittent fasting. And he's begun to recommend this diet and lifestyle to many, if not most, of his diabetic patients. I told him he can send a quarter of his earnings directly to me. Anyway, he says, you not only changed my life, but you changed the life of my doctor and all his patients. Amazing work and results we can achieve in our lifetimes. A. Wow. Well, that is so cool. So fantastic. Uh, Doctors are getting it. And uh, the thing that I try to emphasize is it's not just me. There are all kinds of uh, low-carb doctors, doctors that get it, researchers that get it, scientists that get it, nutritionists that get it. We're still in the majority, in the minority rather. There are Now, you got us on one side, you got the vegans on the other, and then you've got the standard doctor who just gives you medicine and tells you it's progressive. But when you hear testimony like this, uh, testimonies like these, and I hear them all the time, I mean, virtually every single day and I I play some, I I arrange for interviews sometimes and uh, I just hear it again and again and again and again. I could use the term broken record, but usually broken record is is spoken of in a negative context. And to me, I never get tired of hearing these stories. So just keep sending them, keep writing them, keep sharing them. You make my day. You make it worthwhile. Once in a while, I get some of these nasty ones and people call me a name and who are you to be telling anybody anything? You're not even a doctor. But when I get testimonies like these again and again, day after day after day after day, uh, it's worthwhile. It is worthwhile. So thank you, my friend, for sharing that powerful story. Uh, And uh, I just believe This is going to work. The only person you could say, well, it might not work for would be someone whose pancreas is just shot. It's just blown out and can hardly produce any insulin. Maybe they're not quite type 1, but they're getting mighty close to it. Then you may need to take some extra insulin. You may need diabetic meds. You may need to, you know, the diet alone may not do it for you. But then that can even reverse after a while. In some cases, I've heard of that. But for almost Everybody else, as long as your pancreas isn't blown out, uh, there's just no reason why this can't work. The only real question is how long will it take? And for some, it'll take longer than others. And there are no guarantees about that. So, you know, we did our six-month challenge. It's about to come to an end at the end of July. And I'm, I'm confident that most people that followed the guidelines and followed the menu pretty much to the letter will see victory for sure. Others, maybe they didn't follow it quite so closely. They should still see significant progress if they at least (laughs) gave it half of a try. And there are some, of course, that really didn't even do that. So at any rate, uh, there's hope. I said that when a doctor tells you it's just progressive, all you can do is take your meds. Basically, you're taking away hope. But there is hope. And more and more doctors are getting it. More and more nutritionists are getting it. The day will come, my friend, when this will be widespread knowledge. And this will be the standard uh, procedure for diabetics, the standard approach, the standard lifestyle recommended. The day will come when this will be everywhere. I doubt if I live to see that day, but it will come. It's too effective. Things that work will catch on eventually. Build a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door. But sadly, in the medical world, the world is beating a very, very slow path to our mousetrap of low-carb eating and, and intermittent fasting. Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, as we often say, because we want YouTube to take notice that these are good videos and they'll help people. God bless. See you again soon. I want you to know that I do have another YouTube channel. It's called by my name, Dennis Pollock. And on this channel, I teach the Bible. I do short little six and seven minute devotionals normally on all kinds of Bible topics. 
If you're having a rough week and need some encouragement, or you just want to know what does the Bible actually say, you need to check out my Dennis Pollock Bible channel. There'll be a link in the description below.